Okay, so this is not CCLP4. And we're on Trailmaster, which I'm not sugarcoating anything. This level is awful. I mean, not the worst one in this set, but it's, it's up there. So, I don't know how much longer this is going to take me to solve. I already tried to solve this twice now. I made it just as far as I did when I, di when I died in the last time. Except the teeth killed me. Instead of the teeth dying itself. How did the teeth kill me? It was a step dependent thing. Bummer. See, just, it's that kind of crap right there. You have to be in the right step, and if you're not, you're not going to get it. So I'm not going to be talking much in this level, because you all know how I feel about this level. It's really irritating me, and if I try to talk about something, I'm just going to mess up. Or I'm going to get irritated and completely lose my train of thought. I realize that's a nerve-wracking experience. But you're gonna have to bear the bear with it. This long hallway is nice. It allows some breather room. And it's not terribly difficult to get the teeth to follow you through this, so Okay, that's a tight corner to turn, but... Alright, we're getting, we're getting there. This is around the spot I died in. Okay. Almost there. We're almost there. Just a couple more turns. Yes. 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 I finally solved it. Oh my god. That's such a nerve-wracking level. I swear to god. That is a nerve-wracking level. Okay, so. Before I, before I go to the next level. Which I accidentally did skip to. While I was attempting to record this before. Uh, a couple of notes about this level. There is, according to Tyler, he's posted this in a couple of Skype chats and everything, there is apparently a smaller ver scaled version of this level. Though, I've seen, a, I've seen a screenshot of the level of the smaller version. I'll be honest, I don't think it's small enough. <laughs> um, I still think it's a little tedious, but... but the, I think that's... I can't really be helped with a concept like this. You kind of have to make it long enough to where it's kind of tricky, it's kind of difficult, but 32 by 32 is ridiculous. Um, I don't know what size the other level is. It might be like 24 by 24, I don't know. Um, I didn't count tiles or nothing. But I have seen the smaller scaled one. It doesn't look any better than this one other than the fact that it's smaller. And I did notice the time limit was only 200 seconds in that one compared to this one, 999. Or 99. Yeah, I said 999. I thought I said 199. Another note this is Link's solve. This is solvable in Link's. I've had, uh, I think Chipster1059 mentioned in the comment of the last video that 
this level is solvable in links. It's just a lot more difficult because the way teeth work in links, um, it's harder to it's harder to outwit the teeth in the right step. It's basically more strict but step dependent in links than it is in MS, which is kind of unfortunate for links players. But I'm I'm never gonna play this level again, so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, I'm so glad I solved that level. Okay, so Polar Industries. You need all the red keys. Skates can only be used in functioning rooms. This is a level I made. It was for Josh L4. It's in Josh L4. It's not a reject level. Though, I feel like I should have rejected it. But it's... Ultimately, the level is a concept that I've never really seen done before. Oh, that was, that's nice. Bummer. Okay. Yeah, but, but this part is a little annoying, but thankfully it can get done right away. Bummer. Though I've never died three times in a row with this. It's really hard to, to time this. But doable. So yeah, this is a Josh L4 level. I'm not exactly that proud of it. Though this room's kind of cool. The ice tank room, not this one. This one's kind of meh. The rest of the level, it does kind of get a little better. Not really. So in case you haven't noticed, this part... Or especially this part with the blob on ice, and this part with the bug, was inspired by two of Rock's Rock Generous levels. 14% um, with the ice on, or the bug on ice, and then uh, I guess Blob Lake from Rock Alpha. Though it was more based on uh, oh, what's that level called? Matthew Smith still alive or something? Yeah. This room is a little annoying, but not difficult at all. I mean, it does kind of suffer from slide delay, but. I don't think you can... Okay, this part is definitely um, Matthew Smith still alive, inspired. And 14% inspired too, yeah. So, it, it's not obvious enough already. Um, I didn't upload anything on Friday or today, which is Saturday, or it just became Sunday. Bummer. Um, the reason for that is solely because I was on Trailmaster, I really wasn't in the mood to play it. I mean, no one can really blame me. And not only that, but uploading a video, or having a video scheduled to be uploaded every day, It does kind of, it makes people fall behind, well, the ones that are willing to, or that are watching this. It does make them fall behind very easily, because I know not everyone has time during the day to, or time, all the, all the time in the world to watch a video every day. I mean, some people do, like I, like myself. Um, in all honesty, I actually make time to watch stuff, because that's how much I enjoy watching CC videos. But not everyone can do that, which is totally understandable. I don't expect anyone to do that. <clears throat> but at the same time, not uploading for a day or two, it does give some of the people that do want to, um, that do watch this, it does give them, and it does give them time to catch up if they are behind. So, 
So, my biggest regret with this level is putting that paramecium part where it is. Um, Bummer. And the slide delay... Bummer. I can't really fault the level for the slide delay. I mean, it's more of an MS thing than links or... In Yeah, I can safely say I've Bummer. never died as many times as I am in this block room. So yeah, this level does suffer slide delay, but only in MS. In Links, this would be a little bit more easier to follow. It kind of bothers me when people kind of fault levels based on, like, a rule set flaw. Like, slide delay is the biggest one for MS. Thankfully, with this block, I think I originally placed two in there, but I, at least I was a little smart and removed one of them. Okay, I almost... Dying. Alright, let's go up here and get this chip and the red key. Yeah, you need red keys to exit if I haven't said so already. So I, I like this level, but it's definitely not one of my strongest ones out there, and I, I'm willing to acknowledge that. It's definitely not that strong of a level. Okay. I did put a safe spot in that. Or right there. Or in the middle of this room. Um. Okay. That was kind of dumb. Alright, now I just gotta get the chip and the blue key in this part, which is pretty straightforward. Nothing hard at all. It is kind of hard to get the toggle wall timing, but I think that's what I was going for in all honesty. Okay, so where can I go? At least that ball is visible. I think I can go back up here now. Yeah, I can get skates to go back through this. And I believe this glider pattern is predictable. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to go back the way I got the green key. It is ultimately the easiest way to get through that room multiple times. Bummer. Oh, are you kidding me? I thought I had enough time to get those. Okay. You know, I'll be honest, I don't really mind replaying this level. I mean, I do, but I, I mean, compared to Trailmaster, yeah, I'd rather replay this level than Trailmaster. Alright, wh what are you going to do, Block? Bummer. I pressed up! Alright, do this part then first, since you're being picky. Why the timing in this? I don't know why I'm not getting this. I've never, I swear, I've never died this many times in this room. It's not that hard. Maybe I'm just not in the block sliding, a block slide mood. I guess. Do I need a green key for anything? 
major? I don't think I do. I think I can wait to get that later. Yeah, I was kind of a... Oh no, I do need a green key. I was a pretty big fan of 14% when I first played it. Now, nowadays, no, I'm really not anymore. But, like I said in some other video, um, bubble design has changed a lot over the years. And it, there's one thing I've noticed from uh, recently, it's that CCLP3 especially shows that. Because JB is currently LP in that set. And it's, it's, it's very intriguing to know kind of some backstory to why some levels are or were included in CCLP3. Like the whole Mercy inclusion thing, I did not know that was a thing with CCLP3. And to save you the trouble in case you're not following that LPF is, I guess the Mercy Inclusion thing was um, levels that were submitted by designers that wouldn't have gotten levels in the set otherwise, they got basically one of their most strongest or highest rated levels in the set anyway. So it really wasn't the best 147 or 149 as it was stated on the wiki mm -hmm. because of the whole mercy inclusion. Okay, I'm going to go back. I probably could have gone to that gravel spot. I do realize now I could have done that. Nope, oh, nope, nope. You almost killed me again. Alright, let's be a little smarter now. Oh wait, I can't get this yet. Yeah, I realize it's probably a little annoying to hear that ticking sound and all that good stuff. That key is ultimately the hardest thing to get in this level. It really is. Well, hold on. Maybe not. No, it really isn't. I take that back. Though some people might find it difficult. I personally don't. Okay, now that I got all the chips again, get that key and then go back. That was really... That was some pretty bad luck I encountered. Alright, and then we have this ending section, which isn't that bad as it looks. It's just a matter of getting through some thin walls, and some of them happen to have pink balls in them. I think I originally wanted every one of these to have a pink ball in it, but that's obviously that obviously couldn't have been made possible. But that's Polar Industries. Now we're on the Flying Toaster War. Which is a walker level. And you want to know why I never I never really make uh, dodging levels? This is why. Well, this in fireball territory, but at least I, at least that is a little more decent. This is a it's honestly not that bad. You just gotta get the blue key, go back and get the red key, and then go back through this again. And that was Bummer. okay. I was gonna say that was lucky, but. Essentially, this is... Bummer. Okay, that was bad luck. Essentially, this is kind of like... Um, what's that level? Oh, Jeffrey's Vermin. Which is also in this set as well. So I'll be replaying that very soon, actually. I think it's 128, if I remember correctly. Bummer. But, um... This is basically my version of Vermin. Just with walkers, and you have, and there's actually a goal with this level. Get, Bummer. get a blue key, go back to get the red key, and go back across to get to the exit. Why did I name it the Flying Toaster War? It's actually kind of a funny story. Um, yeah, uh, really. C 
See, when, when me or my brother and I, let me use some proper grammar. Um, my brother and I were younger. My grandmother had this Windows 95 computer, which is ultimately what Chip's Challenge was on, how I discovered Chip's Challenge to, be, to start with. And... Bummer. Oh, come on, really? And there is this program, and I'm not sure if anyone else would would know about this, but um, if there are, that'd be kind of interesting. There's this program on this computer, it was called After Dark. And it had all these wacky things that you could do, like with screensavers, um, backgrounds and all this stuff. Or, um, what's that one thing? Screensavers and, uh, like when you leave your computer inactive for a certain amount of time and it plays this thing. Or it has this image or whatever saying like, oh, I don't know what it's called. It, that might actually be the screensaver now that I think about it. But basically, this program, that's what it was. And one of them, and that was lucky, one of the programs, or one of the screensavers or whatever, was called Flying Toasters. And it was actually kind of funny. Because when me, my brother and I, we had this really weird sense of humor when we were kids. And we just got this big kick out of these flying toasters. Like, we thought it was just the most this hilarious thing. And I was, like, 11 years old. So, don't question me. That was over half my life ago. But anyway, um, I was ultimately reminded of, about that when I made the flying toaster war. So that's why I named it what it is. So yeah. Anyway, this is Flame Runner, which I don't get what the goal of this level is yet. It, I see a fireball, and I see a socket. So I'm assuming... Oh. I need to get the fireball to hit the toggle button so I can exit. Was I supposed to leave chips? I was probably supposed to leave, leave some chips. I'm just going to restart. Simply because, okay, well, I had to take that chip, so, okay, that's interesting. I know that, and this part, of the, this part of the level really boggles my mind. I don't, I don't remember who made this level. It's obviously one of seven choices. I know I didn't make this level. I know Tyler didn't make this, so that's two. This might be a, a Jeffrey level, now that I really look at it, the, the design of this kind of shows not that that can that can be taken out of context like basically I, this isn't something I would design that's basically why what, what I meant so okay so. I'm hoping I can solve this level because I really want to have more than three video or three three levels solved in a video for once. And I've had the past four videos, it, it, there's only been three levels solved, so kind of getting annoying. I know it's not an issue, but it's getting annoying. And that ice slide is pointless. Okay, so I have to make room for that. I get some skates. This level's construction is very weird. Um, yeah, this is anyway. Well, anyway, there is a uh, in the editor. There's a hint to this level that says leave two. But there's, I don't think there's a hint tile on this level. I looked through this, this level in the editor a bunch of times. And I don't think there is a hint in this level. 
But a hint exists. That's the point. So, yeah, I don't know what that's about. It says leave two. Do I leave those two chips right there? See, when the fireball goes in here, he's just going to go around and he's going to end up hitting the toggle button eventually. Oh, I can get that chip with no harm. I can't. There is a block right there that I can use. I'll put that block right there instead. And the best part is, I don't think I need to use any valuable dirt spaces to clear to get the block here. No. Okay, so now I just gotta clear bomb, 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 and just enough to do that. So maybe it's actually implying two blocks? I don't know. Okay, so what's through this? Oh, nice. It went, it, my window went active. Oh, hello. Um, no, 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 not right now. Thanks for popping up like that. That was very weird. Okay, so I think I have to leave that chip there. I do not know if there's extras in this level. I sadly don't know. Okay, what is going on with this? I have to push this. And I think I have to push it two more times. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Okay, yeah, that is what I'm supposed to do. So I just gotta get the blocks out of the way. Okay. Fun fact with, about walkers and fire. And I probably should have mentioned this when I was on walker and fire itself. But I never did. Um, I did not know fire, or I did not know walkers could could or we're immune to fire. Um, well, obviously I know that now. Thanks for being smart, Alex, about that. No, I know, I know it now. But back then, or back a long time ago, I didn't know. Okay, um, I'm assuming I need to leave in some stuff, I don't know, I really don't know what, what this level's goal is, alright, what is this about, I can get suction boots, so I can go in here, Really? That doesn't connect to it. Okay, what? I don't know what that did then. Um, this room kind of stumps me. I don't know what this this does. Anyway, moving on. Oh, hold on a second. What did that trap run connect to? Does that one go somewhere else? This part would be kind of interesting in links because you can you can block slap right here. All right, doesn't matter what water I fill in. It did. I think it did. Wait, no. If I leave that chip, I can... It'll go this way, and... Okay. <sighs> okay. 
Okay, there's a trap right there. Oh, you're are you serious? You're kidding me, right? I don't even know what was in that trap. I don't remember what I I can clearly know I was there, but now am I screwed? That that's a good question. Am I screwed? I don't think so. I can very easily use this block to hit that tank button. And oh boy, now we have a this thing. This level just goes on and on, doesn't it? Holy crap. Okay, here's all the chips. And I'm running out of time. And I probably grabbed the wrong chips, now that I really think about it. This level is very weirdly constructed. I'm just going to restart. This level is very weirdly construct constructed. Um, that being said, I don't think this is a really good level. And why am I saying that when I'm playing a set that's not meant to be good? I mean, some of these are pretty obvious. Like, okay, I can very easily do st stuff like that. And then I can get that chip. Okay, those, those, those dirt tiles don't matter. No, I, I can do that. Okay, this room's also pretty easy, too. In fact, I want to I want to see if I can make this um, take less blocks than what it looks like I need to use. I don't think so. Oh wait, I only need one. I left two in here before. I only need one. Okay, so that means I can get all the chips in this room. I didn't even see what was there. Oh, it, it was the glider. And I don't think I, I ever even I don't think I even figured this one out before. I know I just need to make room like like such. But then it's gonna go up. I mean it's gonna go back. And the good thing with this setup is that if I do that, the fireball will be stuck in a loop. Or not necessarily a loop, but it will be stuck on that row. Okay, so I have to do that. How did I have this room before? Oh yeah, that chip was left was left there. That's right. Okay, so I'll go around, down. Oh wait, I can't get that. It'll just do that. So I I have to leave those blue walls there though. All right, moving on. So don't hold that trap button down. I don't know what to do with this room. Why did I do that? Well, someone tells me I'm not going to be able to solve this level. Oh, 
unfortunately, I can only use one block for that. There's probably a, another way I can do this that doesn't require me to do put a block in this corner, but it is what it is. So I know there's some people that still don't fully understand why I'm LPing this set. And at this point, I don't know why I'm, I don't know why I am either. I mean, I don't know if, is that a sad thing to admit that I don't know why I'm LPing this anymore? I'm not saying I'm not having fun with it. I am. And the only reason why I am having fun with it is because I know no one else was going to do this. And it's honestly kind of fun to or fun to know that no one else would would have done this. Like it just makes this that much more unique. Okay, so I don't have fire boots. Don't think I do because I don't know why I thought I did. So what do I need to do here? Do I need to guide the fireball through all this BS, so to say? You know, I could probably very easily do some MS only stuff here. Here, I'll, I'll demonstrate. Ta-da! And I can still use all these blocks. Is that what I is that what I need to do? I don't think it is. But I don't know what I don't know what this room I don't know I don't know. I I really don't know. So it's I can only assume the fireball is gonna go through here, go down, and it's gonna go up. And it's going to go up around that. The good thing is it would be stuck in that. But I don't think I want it to stuck in this. I really don't think I do. So... What do I want it to do? That is the question. And you know, what's... I cooked the level. I completely cooked the level by doing that. And I didn't even mean to do that. Okay, so what am I meant to do with this room? Is that, is that really it? Wait, I can't even do that. Wait. That's literally all I need to do. I, need, I just need to move that block. And I have to go all the way back over here to hit the trap button. Yeah, I can really block that off with the, with the block. And the sad part is... I can't even save that. Not even in the links I could. So I can still use this block. That's interesting. And I need to by doing that. I'm just trying to see how the rest of this level works. I'm not going to solve it in this video, so if you want to stop watching, you can. Um...
but it's completely up to you if you don't. So I have two of each color key and a green key. So I need to figure out... What to do. So the fireball is going to come through here. So I either need to remove... I wonder, is this is this really that strict or is this very loose? I have to wonder. And I have to also wonder if I need that trap button hit or not. I don't think taking that affects anything really. Um Yeah. I, w I probably wouldn't be able to solve this anyway because the time limit on this level is kind of dumb. Can I get the block down? I can. Interesting. Well, I'm going to have to remove that anyway. Huh. I don't know. This level is very, like I said, it's extremely weirdly constructed. I think the construction of this level is very, it makes this level bad. Not, the concept is, is cool, but the construction is definitely not that strong. I'm just thinking how this would work. Like, what can I do to make that fireball both hit that trap button and get out of this room? And I can only put that, if I have to put the block on a fire space, it ha once it's on a fire space, it's stuck there. Doesn't matter what rule set, it would be stuck there. But doesn't need to be hit. I want, I have to wonder. I'm going to have to look at this level in the editor to... Honestly, I'm going to have to look at this in, this, this in the editor to solve it. Really? Those are the only two locks I need to unlock. And it'll go up and around and down through that. Okay, well that's, it. that's good to know. Okay, I already see the two I need to leave. Actually, I need to leave three in. Oh wait, I took the wrong one. Oh well, you know what, it doesn't even matter. I already cooked the level, it doesn't matter. So there's three in here. How many were left in that room before? Five. Okay, so I do need to leave two chips behind. And it has to be in that room. This final room. I do have a block. That's apparently on top of a blue wall. Or some kind of wall. And 
It doesn't look like this one's that strict though, it's just a matter of getting it to back and then do that. So, so once I get the chips, boom, it'll go up through this, around, put the block right there, it'll go back, up, around, yada yada yada, etc, etc. So the really only thing, the only thing I need to figure out is this room. So I'm gonna figure this. I'm gonna solve this level. I'm not gonna. Oh, I'm not gonna solve it off screen. I'm gonna figure it out off screen. And when I next record, actually, you know what? I probably will. I probably will just solve this off screen, and I'll just play back my solution. Just because I think you guys get the idea with this level. Um, you guys don't need to see any more of this, honestly, so I'm not going to expect you to watch it. So, yet again, three levels solved. And one of the toughest ones is done, which was Trailmaster. Um, yeah, but I didn't intend this video to be as long as it is, but if you stayed to the end, kudos to you. Go treat yourself with whatever you like doing, or whatever um if you didn't well you're obviously not here to listen to that so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video i'm in a much better mood to record now though i don't like this level and I, i'm pretty sure it's safe to say we're entering the level design or not the level design we're entering that that level lineup of levels that really show that they're bad. So until then, I'll see you guys later.